I'm um, calling the meeting to order at 6.34. Uh, can I call the meeting to order? I don't know, can you? Who runs the first meeting until we're organized? Who's ever the senior member? Senior member would be me, so. Does, I'm calling the meeting to order. by age or by tenure? <laughs> tenure. <laughs> I thought you said gender. <laughs> uh, tenure. Gender. Tenure. <laughs> um, okay, meeting is called to order. Um, are there any adjustments or modifications to the agenda as presented? Uh, yes. I would like to add a discussion about reviewing invoices. I like orders. that. I'd like to add a discussion about our ownership of Cold Spring. Um, but if not. Are you serious about that? You sound like you're joking. I'm joking about that. Thank you for joking. Um, so here's a question for an agenda item. Um, I Now that we have signed the agreement for assessor, I think it's incumbent on us to appoint someone uh, to a committee. Should we? Can we add that to our... Committee appointments list, or should it be a separate item? I would propose that we warn that and pick it up. And there's a theme behind my suggestion. <laughs> um, so we could, if you want to talk about it, but I think we should warn it. If it's not already in the appointment list of things that are planned to be appointed, and it's a decision we're making that could have an impact, I would recommend that we warn it in our next meeting and appoint it in our next meeting and maybe have, uh, but you want to do some stuff in between now and then, don't you? You want to do things between now and then, don't you? Well, uh, the only thing that I'm... Little, we should have... Add it as an agenda. Yeah. I'm adding it as an agenda item. Okay. Got it. Um Okay, anything else? I do want to recommend a letter to the front porch farm just from the select board. Okay. Um, People yep. did well by us. They trust us. I agree. Let's put that in issues uh, and concerns. Oh. I forgot to bring up my Eric knows how to do that. Right. He said, if you guys do something really screwy, don't worry. There'll be a lot of people here. I know. That's why I thought we could ban honey next year. <laughs> okay, so to get our get us started, Rosemary, do we need to swear Shane in? I think you should do mine first, then I can then I can swear the other two in. Perfect. This first, this. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, fine. she's gonna sign the election for my for the clerk, That's and the you. justice has to give me my. And the justice has to do what? Give me my oath at the bottom. The justice has to give you, and who is and the Shane justice? Shane is the justice of the peace, and Eric's the justice of the peace. Okay, cool. So I just need to fill it out and sign it? Yep, to, to sign that top section here. Where the, Even though I'm not chair currently. Every, you're the, you're the most I'm senior elected member. You're, senior we can, member. We can nominate you acting chair if you want. Please. I move that we... Um, How do you do that? Shane and I can't vote. We've got three of us. I guess there's, yeah, there's three, three of us. There's, there's still three of us. Majority. That's a good point. Okay. Why are we going to do this? Because it's the chair of the BCA, not necessarily the chair of the select board. Oh, perfect. She's already been elected for that. So I, I, I would move that we nominate Beth to chair this meeting until such time as there is a chair of the select board. I'll second that. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 This aye. would be shame where you say aye. I cannot vote. Aye. Oh, we're technically ah, not a member. We can't even abstain. Good job. He, he's not a member. He's not a member. We have a four member board. We can't You're first. I'm not a member of the board. You have a three member board, and that's a quorum. We're good. <laughs> what? We just. Um, 
Oh, and good job for Shane's first order of business was to call you out. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, it would, it would change to it all. It would save me a lot of time. <laughs> we could make some changes. Okay. So, um, watch it or not. You know, you can swear me in. Rosemary did. Rosemary swore you. I got sworn in. At the same time. Rosemary. That's more than a year ago. You could. I think, I, I think all of my votes have been not no, no, no. Now I got sworn in. I do. There you go, Shane. Do you, Rosemary Otterberg, uh, solemnly swear or affirm that you will faithfully execute the office of the town clerk within and force uh, the town of Johnson and will therein do equal right and justice to all men in the best of your judgment and abilities according to law? I do. You also swear and affirm that you will support the constitution of the state of Vermont and of the United States. So help you God. I do. Do you want a non-red pen? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Just get after all this, Mary. Okay. Looks awful blank, doesn't it? Yes, it does. We think the signature's on there. That's you only need the two, right? Mm -hmm. You want to do this else now? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. You, need to. you want to raise your hand? You solemnly swear or affirm that you will faithfully execute the office of select board member for the town of Johnson and will therein do equal right and justice to all persons to the best of your judgment and ability according to law. I do. Or under pains and penalty of perjury. I do. Excellent. Welcome, welcome. You gotta think, like five I do's ago was really expensive. <laughs> I was actually thinking that congratulations is the wrong <laughs> term. <laughs> welcome is better. <laughs> Should offer best offering condolences. <laughs> I am. Your, your sentence could be commuted for good behavior. <laughs> or we could just read mine. <laughs> okay, so Rosemary, now you are officially, oh, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, the close ratio was that last week. Yeah, it was. <laughs> How close was it? What was the funniest write in? I don't see the funny write ins anymore. They're supposed to come with funds. What? Anything that isn't an actual name. I am very disappointed. You'll have to come count votes and you can see them for yourself. Yeah. Problem solved. I've made a good tradition of not counting votes. Um. The Mickey Mouse voters will be very disappointed with you, though. Right. So, Rosemary, how does this differ from the... That's the first page of the... Oh, that's the first page, I see. And the ones I've got highlighted are the ones that need to be appointed. The ones you've got highlighted are the ones that need to be appointed. And all of the appointments on the second page, we have to go through also. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I gotcha. how, was your question or was how does this differ from the list that's in the? Yeah, I was looking at. So, my question was, yeah, how does it differ? And it was specifically Rosemary clarified that the handout we received on page seven matches, and she highlighted the things from page seven in our town report. Sorry, page seven in the town report. Um, the things that are highlighted on the handout match the things on the page seven of the town report that we need to appoint. On page eight and nine, we'll need to go through all, all appointments in the town report. Okay. okay. Some of those appointments are state appointments, like is the fire work a state appointment? We have to confirm it with the state, but... And the health officers. Similarly with the health officers and, and 
uh, the state will only let us change appointments for health officers once a month. Once a month? Yeah. So if we file a request, it takes a month for it to be processed. Where is the fire warden? Yeah. Uh, bottom of page eight. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Bottom of page eight. Okay. Right. Let's do Rosemary. Yeah, can we do the first part, which is um, actually, I think we need board appointments first. So do I lead chair or do you? I can ask for nominations. Yes. So is there any nominations for board chair? That's boy. Second. Any other nominations? No. Okay, nominations are closed. All in favor of Beth Boy being board chair? Aye. 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 Okay. Thanks for us, Mary. <laughs> Thank you. Very appropriate. Um, okay. Do we have nominations for select board vice chair? Kevin Pat. Second. The nomination is second. Any other nominations? Becky Mouse. Okay. Uh, hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm going to abstain. Okay. Ayes have it. So, Evan. There's no pay increase for vice chair, though. No, yeah. just the work increase. Yeah, yeah right. Chair gets that at eight bonus. Um, okay, road commissioner. I have a proposal We're on road. First. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay, yes, page seven, sure. Moderator. No, yeah. those are all. Oh, yeah, yeah, we don't need to do that. Like, sorry, agent to, the, agent to the Convey real estate, real estate is vacant currently, it looks like. I believe we should post for that position and see if there's interest. And no one knows of interest? No. It's been vacant for seven years. Oh, it sounds like Eric. Typically, typically it it was, the board will assign the chair to sign your name. Okay. Transact real estate transaction. If that's the case, should we appoint the board? Yeah, can we appoint the select board? No. Um, do you need a motion? Motion to appoint a select board as the agent to convey real estate. Let's do this. Let's talk about all of our appointments, and at the end, we'll have one uh, one deal. motion. I'm going to select board. Anybody else? So we got to go to Joanne Bedford next. Auditor, is she interested in running again? No, Joanne is not interested. That's so it should be close. Rosemary Whiting Hill Cemetery agent was on the ballot yesterday, right? Yes. And the select board was the clear winner on that one, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So should that no longer um Lost Cemetery was too. Would be but Evergreen Ledge wasn't. What's that? Evergreen Ledge wasn't on the ballot it as wasn't. it was it was plot and Evergreen Ledge has never been on. Yeah, I know, but you've got it listed here as a select board, as the Evergreen yeah, Ledge Cemetery know. agent. The only one that says appointed by select the board is this plot cemetery. That's the only one listed here that says next to it appointed by select board. I, yeah, because it used to be David Meriden. Right. Right, but it was elected this year. It was on the ballot and right. as a select board. Right. And we can't really argue with what the voters are. Right. The select board won. Yep. The select board got it by unanimous <laughs> So we should remove the reference to appointed by select board. Do we need to talk about Evergreen Ledge in that same way? Well, didn't you guys take that over when a couple of years ago? Yes. Because you guys have been making all those all those decisions. Yeah. yeah, so my my question I guess would be is is that one that we should include on the ballot next year? Or is it or or do we really mean is there a requirement that we do any of these by ballot as opposed to just by appointment? I'd have to go. 
That would be my because Evergreen used to be like yeah, there used to be a private, cemetery association kind of, yeah. for it a long time ago. Yeah. Well, but the board basically dissolved the cemetery commission and took it over, right? Right, as a town cemetery. Yep, and I don't think those commissions were ever elected. That I really don't know. Well, let's they had their own. Let's title. do Who this. Let's assume it's fine as is. It's printed that way in the town report. <clears throat> Plot cemetery, everyone voted on. So let's just call it um, select board because it was voted. And Rosemary, maybe if you could do a little research on those two so that we just know whether we need to have them Ever voted or appointed, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, that would be helpful. And then we can just go from there. Okay. Uh, auditors, Joanne does not want it. Let's post. So we'll come back to this one. Um, We're going to post interest. Yeah. Is that it? Hey, yeah. Barely minimum wage. I don't think that it reaches minimum wage. I think that it's a lot like the select board's pay. I heard that two of the auditors didn't want to do it. But I did when only hold. I only heard from Joanne. Um, well, she expires this year, but you think somebody else may want to? Well, God, I hope she does it. But <laughs> right, I know that sounded really grave. Um, but perhaps the reference was to the expired term in twenty twenty four. Yeah, or <laughs> dirt. A lot of things expire. If you <laughs> so okay, let's post for Joanne's and. Um, assume that the continued terms will continue. But we haven't we, received a we talked to the presentation. Though, and I don't think resignations are in. Yeah, I, I for Louise from, and yeah. Sue specifically. Okay. Yeah, from my okay. recollection, Joanne was the only one okay. who didn't want to didn't come back it. at least this year. Okay. Good. So let's post for it. Um and we'll pick it up again a little later. Is um, assessor. We need to wait. What are you talking? What are you referring to? Uh, uh town assessor, assessor below, I see. for the next one below, assessor, uh, auditor. Yep. Well, it would still technically be Terry until she's part of the team. Basically. You're saying list both. I would think we might want to add, add Justin below. Has he? I have not yes, received his is. acceptance yet. But anyway, did Terry sign hers? I haven't received Terry's either. Okay. I think she copied you. She had a couple of questions that she copied you on. Let's call this vacant. We're going to have to come back to a few others. So we'll call yeah. it vacant for now. Okay. Um, Lamoille Regional Solid Waste District Supervisor Howard Romero. He still would like the position. Okay. He yes. would? Yes, of course. Yep. Talked to him yesterday. All right. How long is that term? Two years. Yes. Wonderful. So it was up, it was due this year. The Board of Civil Authority, we don't have authority over. And, and is that the correct ending date for 131 of 23? Yes. 23? Yes. Because new ones were elected and their term does not start until February 1st. Okay. And those aren't staggered terms, so you just. Mm -hmm. They're every two years. Two years correct. So well, between their, their term doesn't start till February first of twenty twenty three. So what happens month. between well yeah, what happens between February first and March town meeting day? They're just as a peak. JPs are elected in, in, November. in November. Oh JPs are elected in November. Oh thank you. Okay. Yep. Okay. Right. I get a note. We all do know that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh Thanks for that reminder. Uh, next up is, I took care of those two, road commissioner. So I have a proposal, or I would propose 
that we actually have a board member be road, road commissioner. And very specifically, I would propose that Evan be our road commissioner. Second. Was that a motion? Uh, no, because we're not motioning anything until we everything is at consensus and we'll motion okay. the whole thing. Okay. But it sounds like you're supportive. I am. Okay. <laughs> Does that come with a big one? Yeah, that's another huge one. Yeah. yeah, I think it's zero dollars. <laughs> zero point zero zero. You think I can get a cup of coffee out of that? You think I can get a cup of coffee out of that? You might stay happy and play your cards right. Uh, maybe I maybe stump the taxpayers. Say there was head over there. Yeah. That used to be a paid thing. We could adjust that. We could always bring that back. Because, <laughs> well, uh, we'll keep it on paid. Oh. oh. Because Evan, if you're kicking yourself doing this cra crazy at work, you should get paid for it. How much work does this entail? Not really. Fine. It used to. Um, there is a job. Of work. Work, right? It used to be, but yeah, you know, we have a we have a folk work supervisor, and if Jason's doing his job well, which he is, Evan isn't going to have to do it. Now. Okay. Yeah, I think the overweight permits have to be signed by. The road commissioner. So I think you'll have to start coming to the office a little more often to sign overweight. That's doable. Yeah. Do we have do you have the job description for the, it? The Not on me, but I hey, I've had long conversations <laughs> about that. <laughs> You're gonna be signing those permits? No, they won't get them. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need them. <laughs> but that's true, they do they did you right? Do you want to add anything else? Uh, he would, you would ask about a job description. I'll check to see if we have an old one. Yeah, and I think there is an old one. There is an old one. Yeah. I don't know if any... Do you, do you think you have it, Rosemary, anywhere? The, I mean, that was like 90s, probably, when Blaine Delisle was... Yeah, I think Rocky Eric, you think you've got time. it in that magic box of yours anywhere? Stop asking him questions. He's yeah, he's not, <laughs> he's not here. He's not here, right? <laughs> Um, no, it's no. It's okay. We'll we'll dig it out. An actionable item. Put it. We'll put it on the list. Dig it out. Deal. Dust it off. Yeah. Just to get it dirty again. Public, Public work supervisor. So, is there a reason this isn't the appointed? Like, this is somebody we have hired. He's hired. I don't really think we even need to. That should go away. Yeah. Okay. It, does everyone else agree too with Duncan and myself? Sure. Yeah, we have any other hiring the questions in here. Uh, the next one is also hired. Oh. Yeah, specifically from the third treasurer, right? I already appointed not, today. Not even appointed. <laughs> the thing is, she is technically appointed by Rosemary, so that probably should stay. But good job appointing her today. <laughs> uh, perfect. Um, first constable. Me just a second to finish. It makes my head hurt. <laughs> 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 Ooh. That was mean, Rosemary. He yeah. leaves the board and look what happens. <laughs> uh, okay. First constable. Um, we actually had some discussions about constable last year at one point. I did. Does Tracy want, what'd you find out from Tracy, huh? I haven't heard back from Tracy. And the last to reach out to Tracy, it was in the context of health officer and animal control. And how long ago was that? Uh, I reached out last week. Lydia reached out a couple times leading up to this meeting. I don't remember exactly. In mid-December, like December 19th-ish time yeah. frame. Yeah, uh, it's. I would propose we keep the first constable vacant since we haven't actually talked to anybody about it or had confirmation back from anyone on it. Um, Fair enough. Yeah, we'll I think that one needs some board discussion about the roles and responsibilities of a constable. If we leave it vacant, I'd be more comfortable appointing an animal control officer as per the ordinance. 
as part of the ordinance. Um, explain what you mean by that. Well, um, so the ordinance says that you may, that uh, the ordinance can be enforced by constables or, well, it used to, I'm not sure what it says, or an appointed animal control officer. I believe that's correct, that I think that it's names them as animal control officers. Yeah. yeah. A constable is automatically in ACL, but I think we could appoint an ACL without them being appointed constable. constable right. Does that? That fits my recollection, but Shane's got a book. If you want to pass the binder over to me, I can find it pretty quickly. Do you know the answer, Rosemary? Dean and BJ are appointed. Yeah. They're animal control officers, and they're both also health officers. If you check the minutes, I'm pretty sure that the select board also appointed them as constables. Dean and what minutes? BJ. I. I believe in the last year you appointed them both constables. I feel um, like we I'm, didn't. I think I don't. I don't recall that personally. <laughs> I don't think it was done in the immediate past year. It might have been done the year before. But I don't think we appointed them constable. Did we? I mean, maybe I'm wrong. It's, it's not the first time. Oh, sure. yes. it's better be a freebie. It's a freebie. <laughs> yeah. I recollect like, it was the first time we appointed them as. Uh, Animal control. Animal control officers pending some amount of time, then we would reconsider or consider whether the point is for accomplice. Because with conflict, the funding mentioned that uh, there's some certain statutory authority right. ability. But I don't remember if we did ever point them as possible back to that. It seems like at first we could uh, elaborate on I'll do the research on it and I'll get back to you. I actually think it was before Evan. It was either right when we started or before we joined the board because it would have been when I was fresh and not recalling anything. Because as long as I can remember, they've both been animal control while I've been on the board. And I'm virtually certain that we did not do it as a board yeah. last year. Yeah, I agree. I can tell you Duncan would definitely know what we did. Yep. Okay, we, so we had conversations about this. Yeah. Let's keep first constable vacant very specifically. If we've not heard back from Tracy, I would prefer not to appoint her to a first constable role. Um, we need somebody in these roles that is going to respond. Um, <clears throat> does everyone support that? I do. Yeah. Three of us, anyway. You're good with that. Okay. Animal control. Uh, BJ and Dean are both listed. I believe both are still interested. Actually, I know that they both are. Yep. As um, is. Okay. Okay. Is your is your um, thoughts on them that they've been doing a good job? And yes. Okay. I'm very pleased working with both Dean and BJ. Okay, fence viewers. Um, Doug Molly. Yep, Doug uh, drops. Eric adds. So that would leave us with um, not Nate, Nat. We need to fix that. Nat Kinney, Mike Dunham, and Eric Osgood. We're not going to ask if you want it. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to keep talking. Oh, unless you guys can do subject if you want. How about that? We're replacing Mike with. Oh, no, we're Doug. replacing Doug with Eric. Oh, Doug with Eric. Yeah. It's as Eric knows, it's a tough job. Yeah, somebody's got to do it though. That's uh, a official weigher. Mike Patch has been official weigher for quite some time, from what I understand. You know, that's actually supposed to be the official weigher of coal. Yeah. 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 It is. We've expanded. <laughs> job um, description. <laughs> well, that's what in the statute, that's what it is. Way of call. Should we add it back in? Uh, I, suggest I, it I, for the auditors. When was the last time we needed it? Way out. Uh -huh. Well, that's why Mike's the perfect fit. Okay, let's keep Mike, shall we? 
uh, tree warden, Noel Dodge. Uh, I'm going to keep going because I think that we should just keep going. I agree. Health officer, Dean Locke. Health officer, Brian Story. Health officer, BJ Putman. Health officer, Tracy Myers. I would say that we should do the same thing that we did above. Yeah. Um, we do have an application from, uh, remind me of her name, Brian? Crystal Earl. Well, she was right on the control. Oh, sorry, she she was specifically asking about animal control. Right. In the past, uh, we've asked people to do both. We could have that conversation with her, or we could just appoint her to what she volunteered for. Um. So one thing about health officer, thank you for that correction. One thing about health officers, I believe we added a third health officer, yep. a third yeah. deputy. So not having three deputy health officers is okay for what it's worth. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't see a whole lot of advantage to having three, but that's just my personal opinion. But no matter what, we'll pull Tracy. Yep, let's just scratch that one. Brian, what did you want to say? Uh, yeah, the, that, that has, we haven't had three for very long. You yeah. know, it's a relatively recent expansion. Yeah. Uh, and do you still want to stay as deputy health officer named? It is occasionally helpful for me to be designated because I'm a staff person and everybody else has limited availability so it is not a job i relish but it is useful to have a at least one paid staff person that we know we can get a hold of for right. emergencies when we need it so and you're willing to do that, be that I, i'm willing to continue all right cool thank you let's scroll back up to animal control officer do we want to consider crystal for an additional animal control officer i'd really like to interview her before appointing her cool Deal. Um, so let's add her as an interviewee for a future meeting. Um, Emergency Management Director Eric Osgood. Eric, uh, do you have anything you want to add to that or say about that before we talk? Or would you prefer to wait? Well, I, I prefer that you start considering someone else and I would work with them and help them in any way I can. Don't have anyone. Reluctantly, we <laughs> continue, but uh, I think you do have somebody with interest. Do we have somebody who has interest? Are you, if you do road commissioner, would you would you also do emergency management director? I'll do emergency management director. I've already talked to Eric about it. I'd love I'd love to see Evan do that, and if he could work with Eric. Another big pay bump. Yeah. Well, I'm going for the energy coordinator. Again. Yeah, what is that coordinator? <laughs> that's that's another huge paying job. Well, some, at some point during the evening, uh, is it will shut off. You want me to give it to you, or you want me to give it to Evan? You could have it because you were emergency director. Is that the key to this building? Yeah. Yep. Oh, no. uh, tried giving it to me last year, and I was like, "So, oh, no. Eric, you probably know the answer to this one too. Isn't isn't it's not on here? Isn't the emergency management coordinator also an appointed position by the EMD? Who will appoint whatever he needs for Okay. Okay. I'd like to talk to the trustees first, but I'll have a recommendation. So, I, chair of the trustees is great as an emergency management coordinator because there's a coordinated effort and they are in charge of the fire department. They may want to wait till after the village meeting in that case. So maybe you'll have an interim. Maybe. Hopefully we'll have a flood between now. Hopefully. <laughs> Time will tell. Uh, I'll help you out for a 30-day period. So Beth can be the interim emergency management coordinator, I fear. Uh, you're going to have to fill out paperwork and submit it to the state by May 1st. May 1st, something like that. I don't remember when it all has to be done. In fact, it'll be after you. I think it's in April, is when we usually have a meeting with LCPC. You put them on until April, but they, they start pushing at the town meeting. So you 
It won't be long. Okay. Uh, energy coordinator, Mark. Has that been a big lift for the last year? The door, Do you Mark? feel like there needs to be a pay increase? I don't know, but I would be more than glad to expand it. I to energy, know. energy coordinator and and efficiency and officer. <laughs> okay, uh, Mark, you're it. Um, there are times that have actually have energy committees. Yeah, we can start one if you want. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, very well. Thank you. I support you. Um, town service officer. Well, I have something to say about that. Please. <laughs> as as Evan pointed out last again? year, <laughs> with great delight, I think. Um, okay, usually, but... usually the new guy um, gets appointed town service officer. So I, I can honestly say, Shane, that I didn't receive a single call last year. <laughs> As town service officer, you but. will spend more time talking about it right now. Yeah, that's true. Well, and I'm more than willing to. You're all in. On. There you go. Right. It's like Resume a builder. Amazing thing, kind of. Yeah, that is. I know Mike was uh, overjoyed I mean, passing it down. <laughs> and I had it yeah. for one year. So uh, you want him to do it? Yep, Shane's it. Okay. Tag your it. Inspector of lumber, wood, and shingles. We have Richard Simes. Um, I say we keep Richard Simes. Great. Okay. Um, bring up chair. I know Shane, you wanted to step down from that. But Is that still true? That. Uh, you know, I'd love to see recreation take that on as a project. I see that in a lot of other communities, and I think that it's a good home for it. If they can't or un unwilling, I would reconsider. Um, How about we post for it? Okay. That way we'll add it to the list of postings we're looking for and see what happens. And then if nothing happens, we can talk about alternatives. Sound good to everybody? Yeah. It's, a, it's super it's, wicked. Shane has done a good job with that. Before that, it was Stefanski was. Um, I think there was somebody in between. Uh, between. Or, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, planning Commission. Um, David Butler, Kylie Hill, Greg Tatro all expire in 2023. Um, I've talked to Brian since yesterday. Feels like much longer ago <laughs> than yesterday, <laughs> but it was just yesterday. And he is posting, he's talked to the News and Citizen. They're going to post for this. Um, so I would recommend that we hold on this particular item. Um, however, I will tell you that David Butler and Kylie Hill are both interested in continuing. Greg Tatro is not. So we'll push something in a posting um, and try to get some responses back and hopefully fill the vacancy. Yeah, I, we didn't know about the vacancy when there was enough time to get it in the newspaper for this week. True. So and I would say, yeah, whoever expresses interest, maybe there should be a recommendation coming from Paul. Uh, our policy is that the that the the board with the vacancy has the opportunity and option of providing a right. recommendation. So we'll recommend to Paul that he should, but the select board can act with or without a recommendation. But did I hear you correctly in saying that both David and Kylie would continue? They are interested in continuing, yes. <clears throat> Why wouldn't we just appoint David and Kylie? There's some question about the statutory requirements for appointing commissions and the need to post publicly. Um, I'm just suggesting that out of respect for that opinion. I'm not convinced that is the case, but. Nothing in statute that I know about. It's a select board appointment. There was something about planning commissions and library trustees specifically. 
Um, I support that suggestion. So the three of you could go the other way and <clears throat> appoint the two, and it's done. Right. Well, I'm just. I just want to make sure that. I know. It was it was weird. It was Remember, it, it is weird. Russia shall be appointed in any vacancy filled by the legislative body. The length and term planning commission members shall be termed by the legislative body. Any member may be removed at any time by unanimous vote of the legislative body. <clears throat> any appointment to fill vacancy shall be for an unexpired term. That's the only paper. That's well. That's the section on the statute. That's the only. And what was our file? Again, I, was I didn't have a lot was of time it? to do research, but that is the was only it? section about was appointments it? to the planning commission. I was it our policy specifically about appointing and planning? Yeah, there's something funky about the wording of it, and frankly, I don't feel like the argument is worth the time, personally. Um, just post it and we'll take so it we should just meeting. post it and take it up at the next meeting, in my opinion. But should if we you want to argue that, that's fine. Should we reach out and tell those folks why we're posting the position and we vote the thing by the way. Reach out to who? To the person arguing? No, David and Kylie. Well, they're not uh, a volunteer group. I'm, I'm The reason I'm making an issue of it is because there's statutory provisions and I've been doing this a long time, Beth, and I don't ever remember anything in the statute that the appointment of a planning commission member is anything other than an act of the legislative body. Yeah, like I said, I can't speak to it intelligently. I know we did. We actually, last year at this time, had a similar In the middle debate. of the year, who, who wanted to join the planning commission in the middle of the year? Adrian Steveson. Yeah, so this came up at that point, and we could not appoint because it wasn't in the newspaper or it hadn't been posted for 30 days. There was something specific. I don't know if it was town policy or not, but I remember it being a tripping point before. Well, I had some Charlie Calanta brought up, and I think it was relative to the policy, but the town policy talks about Yeah. If I remember correctly, the issue with Charlie was that it had been posted before because that, that vacancy had been open for a while and had been posted originally, but had not been recently reposted. And so Charlie raised the concern that, you know, if it wasn't filled when we originally posted for it during that process, then we would have to repost for it. I'm not sure whether that's the case or. But I think we ended up just reposting it and went through that that process again. Shane's recollection is correct. Look, it's all this quick. Do the three of you want to appoint the two members that have expressed interest, or do you want to post all three and take it up to the next meeting? Yes. I don't see why we don't appoint the two that have been on the, the commission and said that they would continue to serve and then um Post for what? Post, post, post for the vacancy. I don't, I don't have an issue posting for the vacancy because it's a vacancy. vacancy. Understood. <laughs> okay, Mark is in agreement. Yeah. I guess we're moving on. Cool. Okay. Um, I also say we'll run this. Um, I don't know how this will go as far as process goes, but I will be resigning from the planning commission at the meeting tomorrow. So we should also plan to post for that. Uh, just the last year of my. Term. You could just ask for a resignation here now. Is that you could resign to the select board? Yeah, you could resign to the select board. You don't have to resign oh, to the planning commission. I do intend to, yeah, I, I would like to resign from the planning commission. Yes, so. Is that a resignation request? Because <laughs> 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 you, you, you have to motion to accept. Resignation. Motion Change. to accept the resignation with regret. Do you want to send a thank you letter? Sure. Post okay. Front front court form, by the way. Are you going to second? Yes. Okay. We have a motion to second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I just have it. Did you say aye? I said, did say aye. I don't say anything.
Yes. Okay. Got so it. Gonna post two vacancies. So post for two vacancies. Okay. Um, thanks, Shane. That saves some time. Uh, rec committee. Jen Uris, Kitty Orst, Alan Odette, Kim Goodell, uh, Kyle Senesak. We've added two to this since this was printed. Uh, Lisa Cruz and who was the other one? We did that just the other night, too. Yes, I know. Uh, Should be able to remember. I'm sorry, I don't remember the There's name. So of the much other, other meaty person. stuff. I know. I, I can't remember my own name half the time. Um, but everyone has indicated that they would continue. Um. Okay. Skate park and. Didn't we get a resignation from somebody on the skate park a little while ago? Is that my imagination? We have. I don't remember how recent. I, you know, I'll check and see what. Does this look like a current list? It looks like a current list to me, but. Rosemary, do you mm -hmm. think so? Okay. That would be in January. It's a current list. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Cons um, conservation commission conservation yep uh, i do believe there was two members up but they both expressed interest in continuing yep so that all looks correct how do we know there are two mem members up because lois said so uh don't yeah i know terms too shouldn't we list them yeah don't, don't they have terms rosemary <laughs> they might yeah could we get a could we get a list from Lois as to what the terms are and then make it a lot easier for us? We need to get make sure that they're assigned to the right terms and like we do with the plan. Yeah, if it just kind of says term expires on X. Okay. Yeah. Terms we need, but the list is correct. Okay. Tree board, Sue Levering, Rob Maynard. Noel Dodge, Lauren Huang Finkelman, um, Jacob Van Dorn, and Brian Van Dorn. Didn't we add to the tree board? Didn't Lauren Finkelman resign? Lauren resigned. Man, I'm going to have to write this in. in <laughs> we're going to need an updated sheet that I can keep in my new town report. Lauren did resign. I don't feel like we got anyone else, though. Just confirming. Do, 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 do. Is Corey mm -hmm. Davis still willing to serve as the fire warden? Yep. Yes. I'm assuming Linda Jones is fire the town historian still. Historical Society. Yes. Linda Jones, Lois Fry, Richard C. Mays, Alice Whiting, Dennis Richards, Kelly Van Dorn, and Mary Jean Smith. Uh, you did remember Lauren's name, but it's not resigning. We just pointed for relatively oh. recently. Oh, I was pointing. Okay, thank you. Um, I don't have a resignation from her. just have the request to join. Very well. Um, you know, the form-based code? Maybe, yeah. That's what that is. If, there, if there's something that has to be a field or yeah, if somebody appeals a decision, an administrative decision for the form based code, it goes to the DRP. Does the Historic Society look correct? Um, I believe there was somebody. Who there's a new um, uh, Martin Denise. No, uh, what's her name? Her last name is Martin. You know, you remember it? Leslie Martin. Leslie Martin. Okay, she's she's on the board now. I. I Pretty sure she was appointed. Okay, we believe you. DRB's met what twice in ten years, eight years? Um I don't know, but regardless. Will Will Angier? 
Jim McDowell, Dave Butler, oh, William okay. Jennison. It's good. David Williams. Alternates are Shane and Kim Dunkley. Perfect. Uh, Will Jennison did resign. Did we accept it? I don't think we accepted it. Perfect. He's still there. I sent you. I sent an email out about it. I don't remember exactly what it was, though. That must have been a long time ago. I don't remember. Yeah, I remember. I mean, but clearly, there's a lot of things we don't remember. So, can we get an updated printed out list? I can shove it in here. So, I would actually really like us to have a living document that we update regularly. How can a document like breathe? Not funny. You give it a name. Um, <laughs> Fred, you name it. You said not funny, but I think it's funny. <laughs> Beautification Committee meets the third Wednesday of the month. I think uh, we appointed somebody else to that. Kyle News, Blair Watson, Lauren Philly, we recently appointed, and Jonah Keith. Jonah Keith, sorry. All right, great. Tuesday Night Live Committee, Howard Romero, Tim Mikovitz, Abby Gladstone Strobel, Sophia Berard, Joey LaHoulier, Tom Moak. Committee Oven, Community Oven Committee, Jasmine Uris, Ray Kiana. Uh, how do you say that? Oh, Kanye, yeah, thank you. I don't know. PCU Johnson, that's one. He, he was, at least. Yeah. Yeah. I, guess, I don't know uh, what that looks like. You either. can like pizza if you're from a different town. Gelatly? Jella, Gelatly? Is that how you said Luke's last name? Gelatly. Gelatly, thank you. Uh, that's wrong, Beth. <laughs> Sophia Berard, Charlotte uh, Ruse Kranz. Kranz. Yeah, Trent McCarver. Uh, Trent. Trent McCarver. Trent. Trent. Mark Woodward. Mark Wad. And Jennifer Burton. Racial Justice and Social Equity Committee. Sophia Barrard, Jeff, Jeff Bickford, Raven. Didn't Raven? Yeah, I don't think there's Raven a there. No yeah. Offy and Shane and Jackie should be on it. Jackie Stanton. And we had um, Annabelle temporarily, but she went back to school, I believe. No, it was Adele. Adele, thank you. Yep. And the next statement should be corrected. The select board meeting, municipal building, 6.30, the first and third Monday of every month. Meetings are open to like, what part? Open way, to more, way more than first and third of the month. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. speaking of yeah. so speaking of Mondays on the first and third of the month, do we want to keep this time and well, the place is going to stick, but the day of the week and the time doesn't have to. We could meet at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Morris, no, no. Morristown meets at the, the golf, golf course. Yeah. Oh, do they really? Well, that's the planning. The planning. Oh, the planning. Oh, the planning. Yeah. So do we want to keep this? Six thirty Monday. The crappy thing about Mondays is we always run into Labor Day and Memorial Day. I like Mondays. every year, but fair enough. We'll keep it. You win. We does everybody else like Mondays? I feel like there are so many other events that happen throughout the week that trying to figure out. Like I just feel like Mondays is the day that all of us who do other things on other nights of the week, it doesn't conflict for whatever reason. This year I'm going to bring pizza, so. Yeah, right. We'll see. <laughs> we'll start with it today. You talked about a living document. To, to, to Evan's point, we could actually look at the calendar and Build out schedule. schedule a an alternate date rather than doing it. The, do we typically set these the meeting go down these right now or this organizational meeting. We could start at six. Yeah. Actually, let's do that. Let's say that on the have Mondays and time we'll talk about time in a second. But on when Mondays fall on a holiday, then we meet the following Wednesday. We could do that. We can do that, or we can do what we do, just modify it with an appropriate time ahead. So there is three or four holidays. Yeah, the follow up. There, there's always going to be a couple. Yeah, yeah. President's weekend. Labor Day. I mean, I wouldn't mind using those holidays as an excuse not to meet one of the holidays. I second mm -hmm. that. 
really problem is we meet twice <laughs> Yeah, twice, yeah, meet twice the next once. Yeah, meet twice the next week. All right, Mondays are great. Sure, it's yeah. wonderful. I think Mondays is. Uh, is six thirty the right time? If you can guarantee we're done by nine thirty or nine. Or Wait, nine. you want to be done by nine every time? Well, you know, a meeting really, ideally, is two and a half hours. Three is pushing. But, yeah. but if you uh, want to be done by nine every time, we should start at four. That's what I was. But that's the right. problem there is the second part that I said about the ideal meeting lasting two and a half hours. Honestly, if we want to be, if we are seriously going to hold ourselves accountable and be disciplined about it, then we need to make sure that we have what we need going into the meeting. We are clear on our thoughts going into it. <clears throat> And we agree to stop conversation when it's beating a dead horse. And I think if we could accomplish all those things, then we would have faster meetings. But we get, I don't know. <laughs> we get good content. Mm -hmm. We get good content. Are there people watching this meeting right now? Yes. Yep. This Evan, is wearing, Evan is wearing his pound report on his head. I was trying, okay. I was trying to get her to laugh. She was <laughs> Mark. I was thinking that that's a picture of discipline right there. <laughs> yes. Our, our meetings are not it's, always. Or 6 30. 6 30. 6 30. Check. My opinion doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm not even going to ask no, Evan. Okay, 6 30. Too far ahead, I uh, did remember that we also appointed John Key to the Racial Justice and Social Equity Committee. Shana. Yes, thank Perfect. you. Okay, let's see if we can run through these changes that we made. I'll do my best. I'm just gonna mulch into a quick slate. Okay, fine. I'm gonna second it. All right. Third. Motion, second. Any discussion? Any clarifications needed on what you need to post? I'm posting for the, do you mind if I just run through what I'm posting? If you start from the top, go for it. I'm posting for, uh, the auditor position. Nothing else on the first page. On the second page, we're vacating one of the animal control positions, but I'm not posting for it. The first constable specifically. Yeah, the first constable. Uh, same for one of the deputy health officers. I'm posting for the green up day. Yeah. I'm posting two vacancies for the planning commission, one with a three year term. So that would expire in March of 2026 and one expiring in March of 2024. I'm posting for the tree board. I'm going to verify whether that's correct before I post for it. Wait, why board. are you posting for tree board? Because Laura Finkelman, you think, is gone? I don't think she's gone, but somebody did. So I'm going to double check it and see whether that's vacant so or not. That's a question mark. You're not necessarily posting for it. Correct. Okay. Trees actually came up a lot during the town meeting. They did. Yeah, trees. Yep. They're Got it. They're beautiful. Uh, we have a vacancy on the development review board that I'll post for. I think there's still a vacancy on the historical society board, too, isn't there? Yeah, I feel like we had a vacancy there. I think, I think you're correct that that one still has an opening. And that's it. So I'll add historical society. Can you just confirm that before you firmly add it? We should just make sure we're not making things up. If, yep. Especially considering Leslie was recently appointed. I will work with Lydia to make that living document you are asking for and at the same time confirm if all the potential vacancies that we have. Um, I think too that Kyle had asked about beautification recently, maybe just confirm on that too. Cause I don't think we have specific seats on it but I do think that there was a request for additional. Okay. And are we going to uh, do, do people think that we should invite um, Crystal Earl in for an interview? Totally agree. I did have 
additional actions I have uh, is the road commissioner job description and bringing Crystal in for an interview. Okay, we have an act. We have a motion on the floor to mm -hmm. approve all appointments. Brian listed the postings. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Ayes have it. Cool. Okay. Next up on the agenda, reviewing. When when she leave, we're going to do some appointing. Stop by some time off with y'all and start going. So it's awesome. Do you know the dude is a cracker now too? Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, Eric, before, before you leave. Eric provided a card for the board. Let's read it really quickly. I was going to do an issue. How much like money is that? Was where I was going. He's to. bringing us all the dinner and drinks. Yeah. Is he really? Yeah. yeah. He's been saving no. his select board. It says, thank you, Johnson Select Board. Thank you for all your support over the years and for providing the retirement gathering. It was all very appreciated and meant, uh, meant more to me than you can imagine. I am now a private citizen, <laughs> private <laughs> citizen. Uh, however, my heart is still with you uh, and the community. So if I can ever be of service, um, all you need to do is ask. Thank you, Eric Osgood. Thank you very much. We'll be asking. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Thanks, Eric. Eric, while well, you're still here, I felt really remiss at our last board meeting on Monday. We didn't actually thank Eric, and, and we certainly put up so a hearty thank you, at least from me, and I'm sure all the rest of the board members for your years of service. Thank you. Yes, yeah, thank you. Hopefully that will be reflected in the minutes. Echoed. Don't, don't forget that steel, that cast iron collar, my hair, with your name on it. Yes. My oh, hair. It, it's going, out, it's going out by the carriage shed. Okay. Nice evening. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Uh, reviewing invoices. Evan, you had a motion to make a round of review. I wasn't going to make a motion. I was going to make a recommendation. Uh, right now, I still see value in reviewing them. I like that Rosemary highlights the non-monthly uh, normal bills. I would, instead of just reading them aloud line by line, like the track of meetings where we just look at them and ask if there's questions on any items. Sure. Next to two minutes, if there's no questions, if there's questions, we still dive. Works for me. I can work with that. I don't think we need a motion. Nope, okay. Um, assessor liaison appointment. You said you would rather. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, no, we yeah, yeah, went back. We talked about it a little bit and went back and added it to the agenda. Uh, motion to appoint uh, Duncan Hastings as the assessor liaison. Uh, second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Um, of course, Duncan would be the appointment, <laughs> in my view. I, I would recuse. Um, I'm happy to do it if you, uh, if so, you like. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Dr. You've done all right, all right. Thank you, too. Yeah, you've done a ton and it's appreciated. Thank you. Okay, I just have it. Uh, it other, works. <laughs> other select board issues and concerns? Any reason not to adjourn? I just want to say that I, I think you did a wonderful job yesterday. Uh, thank you. Uh, at town meeting. Um, I think it was even though it was a sparsely attended meeting, it was nonetheless a pretty good meeting, I think. Well, thanks. You got everything you wanted. It yeah. was fun Walt and I was exhausted. Walter King. Walt skiing. Just skiing, yeah. That's how you know the budget was put together well. When Walter can go skiing for the day. <laughs> I think argue, uh, Walter would argue that point, but. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Mike, you know, Mike Patch didn't have a lot to say either, which, you know, yeah. at, the, at the end of the day. So. And then Mike Dunnett. In, second in Mike Dunn, uh, yeah. Second in Jackie's motion about the college, and I think we're like two by the eye day. And they gave us a raise. Man, what could be wrong? I don't remember that part. He did. Well, we didn't you come about, into the big We didn't talk about the 1500 bucks or Mike doing it. Uh, okay, I think we can call it. So, meeting adjourned at what time is it? 7 38. Beauty. I would like Beth.